Hello and welcome to the Foster Family Adventures. It's the weekend again. Um, so, I know we keep showing you cooking stuff. Uh, we're not cookerologists, nor do we want the channel to be about cooking. But there's very little else to talk about, really, when you're stuck on lockdown. So, plus, Manda's made some cool, so we're going to show you anyway. Check this out. Manda has made a fake away doner kebab. So, this is beef mince extra lean with what in it? Um, coriander, coriander, cumin, 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 onion, cumin. garlic, uh, granules, uh, salt I think. Yeah, so Pepper. you make it into like this loaf shape, cook it for 20 minutes and I'll show you when it comes out. Then you just slice it up, put in your pitas with your salad and your uh, mint sauce and natural yoghurt and it's the bomb. And here it is. Sliced, ready to go into the pitters. Manda's pre-made one there, look. Looks awesome. Mint uh, mint yogurt in there. Zaki chooses for the, to go for the uh, ketchup option, don't you, Zach? Mm-hmm. As you can see, they've both got loads left, and I've finished mine, because I eat four times quicker than they do. Manda doesn't like being watched being eaten as well. Mm. Mm. Oh, 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 awesomeness. Today's mission, well, one of today's missions is to reincarnate the Jackson. I uh, stopped using it live because we do loads of different tunings, but it's getting brought back to life today. Oh, yeah. I'm teaching the boy the art of changing and setting up a Floyd Rose. He has no idea of the frustrations yet. Although this is an original Floyd Rose on this, so I mean, staying in tune in that is ace. You just want to do loads of dive bombs, don't you, Zach? What is that? Oh. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Is that uh, whammy bar fun, is that? Give it a big dive bomb. Yeah, boy. <laughs> We've made it to Horton. Uh, how long is that? How many miles is that? About six miles. Uh, Zach's known most of the way because he doesn't like his bike. But we've got new bikes and he's got an old bike. And uh, our wheels are much bigger, so it's less effort for us to go faster, isn't it, Zach? And check it out. All covered in mud. Really muddy today. You look like you've peed yourself, Dan. You look on your back. i got a dirty butt. And there's uh, looking like a proper cyclist with all the lighter and stuff on. <laughs> I'm a big spongy bottom short. Yeah, I can't Good slap a slap a butt properly now because she's got a padded butt. Anyway, have a bit of a rest here, then we're going back home. Oh yeah. Man, I tell you now, airfix modelling is not good for my patience or my temper. But me and the boy are doing a bit more today. What do you think? <laughs> got wings and everything now. It's cool, huh? And guns. Oh, lots of guns. We've just come back from taking the doggy a walk for the evening. Oh, it's like beating me up. And uh, I think the fresh air did as good because I don't know exactly uh, what kind of glue they use on the Airfix models, but I'm pretty sure it got me a little bit high. I was getting a bit of a headache before I left. What about you, Zach? Did you feel any effects of the... Uh, of the uh, glue or not? No. He was pulling faces at me, now he stopped. No, he wasn't. Face puller. Mm. <laughs> Gluten free issues, check it out. We've got some of this uh, whole white loaf from Shaw. And this is how big the bread is in comparison to my hand. 
How small is that bread? Did he? Really did he? In fact, Amanda, get a piece of normal bread. So I'm gonna put it by the side of this bread. And then you can have a proper comparison. I reckon that's the best half the size of normal loaf of, uh, normal slice of bread. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's pathetic, isn't it? Oh my god. So yeah, I'm about to have some toast for me tea and uh, I'm after about 16 pieces of bread, I reckon. <laughs> no, wait. That was an exaggeration. But you know what I'm saying. Can you believe it's Sunday evening again? I mean, one second it's Friday night, and the next second it's Sunday night. And then Monday through to Friday afternoon takes forever. Yeah, so... um what have we done this weekend? We went on a cool bike ride on our new bikes. Uh, and Zach's decided that he needs a new bike now. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, I do. Because his bike's way harder work than our bike. Uh, I thought he was lying, but Manda rode his bike and you think he's he deserves a new bike as well, don't you? I don't think he deserves a new bike. I think it's hard work on that bike. Why well, mm. don't I deserve a new bike? What do you think, Zach? Huh? <laughs> oh, perhaps he doesn't deserve a new bike, but perhaps he ought to get a new bike. Perhaps, he, perhaps him wanting a new bike is justified, that's what we'll say. Yeah, but I don't want to sell my bike because then I think Grandma would be really upset and that because she bought it for me. I don't know. But, um, you know. It's pretty difficult with the lockdown to because we can't go anywhere or do anything. But I've got some cool plan for next weekend, so look forward to that. What's that? They don't even know what it is yet. Do you know what it is yet? Uh, but I do. How rude! I can't say that, can I? Actually, no, I shouldn't. Shouldn't say stuff like that. Why? Because you know, Rolf Harris. Don't be quoting him, do you? Really? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so. Um, Oh, we fixed the guitar. That is really good news, isn't it, Zach? You've enjoyed mm -hmm. playing yeah. Whammy Bar. Yeah, boy. So uh, we'll be getting that out a bit more often now. It's been sitting in the cupboard for a, far too long. I can't remember the last time I played that guitar live. Literally years ago. When did you buy it? I can't remember the last time I played live. That was literally <laughs> about a year ago. <laughs> so... That's Do you even play? <laughs> Do you even play, bro? <laughs> um, and we've got a bit further on that. Fuck a wolf. That is irritating. Air f anyone who does air fix, they must have a lot of patience because it's irritating me. Yeah, the language that was coming from the kitchen is atrocious. Tiny, tiny little bits. and They don't quite fit right. Then you have to shave a little bit off and then... Oh, annoying. <laughs> got to try and paint it in a minute uh, when we finish it as well. That's not I interesting. Like it. It's fun. But irritating at the same time, mm. isn't it? I think if we had a bigger model, I think the problem with that one is it's such a small model that all the bits are dead small. Do you think that should be our project? Airfix? Can do if you want. We you have a lovely truck airfix that you've got upstairs. Oh we do have a lovely truck airfix. Proper awesome oh, yeah. big American yeah. style Kenworth truck or something. That would be a nice one to do. I've seen what um, I've seen the instructions and it looks really hard because it's not like the normal instructions where it's bit by bit. It's just loads of different things to do together, like mm. on mm. one. Anything's achievable if you put your mind to it. And I want to build a go kart, like from scrap metal and stuff. Zach wants to do lots of things. Mm -hmm. um, Zach thinks he's going to find all the um, things just lying around. So and he's going to he's going to instantly know so how to how, how to, to make it. it. Yeah. Can't well, but I'm sure I'll pick it up. <laughs> because every everything on YouTube uh, YouTube can literally teach you anything. You can learn pretty much anything from YouTube. Not all of it's actually accurate information, but there's a lot of good stuff out there. But just because you watch a YouTube video on it doesn't mean you can actually do it though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can. You can learn how to do all of them things. Uh, anyway. Sounds good. Good idea. Actually means that I want to make a soapbox. You know that Red Bull soapbox oh, thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Can people should try and enter that. It, though? Well, I'll drive it. No, I won't drive it. Okay, you can drive it. Okay, we'll have two and then you drive one and I'll drive another. No, three. I'm good. Why? You have to go off that pier thing, don't you? Into the water. No, no, you don't go into the water. You could be like the, um, you know, like in F1 when you used to have the girls dressed in like hot pants and stuff. I'm good, thanks. You could be like that for us. I'm good. Pit girls or something like they're called, aren't they? No, thanks. Yeah. That'd be kind of weird for you though, Zach, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> on that note uh, that's just about all we've got time for this week thanks for watching we'll see you next time <laughs>